Oof. In the name of Her Majesty the Tsaritsa, we will seize authority from the gods. Dude, the Teva drip is insane. How's it going people? Jack here with another video and back to check out some more Genshin Impact. So today we'll be checking out version 2.82.3.0 with uh, some of the many trailers that you have recommended that you check out. So without further ado, let us jump into it. Summer Fantasia. Have you ever met someone by the name of Kaedahara Kazuha? This was also right this around was the summer. Earlier by some people from the Tenryo Commission. They said they had something important to discuss with him. Since the Vision Hunt decree has been repealed, I no longer have any grounds to officially arrest him. Then again, I guess something very interesting is about to happen. Oh, Taijutsu. I'm taking this case over. touched the hilt for the first time. It's as if I was transported to a strange dimension. Oh, well. Oh, faithful retainers. This is the blessed <laughs> paradise that one has been searching for. Oh, she's back. Here is where we shall witness the culmination of all things. I, who commands the darkness, shall lead you to yonder gate of dreams. Your Highness. <laughs> I remember that joke. Praise be to the princess who has led us here to this sacred place. My sincere gratitude to you for inviting me to join you on this trip. Hey. Look at me. A genius astrologist forced into a juvenile role-playing game. Ha. Lady Magistus, Punny. Are you embarrassed? Stop calling me that weird name. Lady Magig. What? <laughs> excellent, most excellent. Oh, official? That's enough. Come on, just play along. Onward to a new land. But I've been told that I should uh, keep watching till the end because some more stops get shown. So uh, keep an eye on it. I think just the scary thing about Genshin is just the, the game would be so beautiful to spend time in that you will totally forget the rest of the world. Oh, oh, that's the uh, that's the guy that I once compared to uh, Lieutenant Himiko from Honkai Empire because he has that massive claymore. He's pretty cool. The name Shikanoin Heizo, sharpest and most successful detective of the Tenryo Commission. Okay. Detective agencies spend too much time investigating extramarital affairs and tracking down runaway pets. <laughs> and it goes without saying that fighting thugs and fetching things isn't my kind of work. A true detective uses their smarts to outwit criminals at every single turn. You keep following the clues until you find the culprit. And hmm. don't stop until every last piece of the puzzle is in place. <laughs> Ninja detective. There are always those people who resort to violence at the very last second. As if that'll somehow solve their problems. Wait, he has two moles? Under each eye. That's like an anime trope, you know, when you just want to make a character extra cute, you add some beauty marks. Um, okay. <laughs> this is a new one. I've never seen that before. I like the fighting style. It's pretty cool. Let's just hope the rain hasn't washed all the clues away. <laughs> Alright then, we have Tevat. We're back to the Ross. Winter Night's Lasso. Okay. <laughs> Shall 
chess play. The sages think themselves to be all-knowing, but we alone are wise to the virtue in those acts of folly. Ah, the jester. I remember this him. War, not even a single pawn may be spared. Because on this chessboard, checkmate is not where the game ends. Very dark. Uh oh. Who has entered the chat? Okay, who's dead? We are gathered here today to remember our dear comrade. In honor of her sacrifice, all work should halt for half a day as the nation <laughs> mourns her passing. <laughs> Merely half a day? People say the Northland Bank's true currencies are blood and tears. But Mayor, even speaking as a banker, that sounds a little unconscionable. <laughs> Rosaline died in a foreign land. Oh. But you heartless businessmen and dignitaries, always with a convenient excuse to remain in the comfort of your homeland, you couldn't hope to understand. So why don't you keep your mouths shut? We don't want to make the children cry. Hey, come on now. <laughs> you know, I don't think this is the right time or place for a fight. <laughs> Utterly risible. Though her methods tarnished her honor, Loafalta's sacrifice is a great pity. Her loss shall not hinder our progress. He's so cool. But Tatori, what of Scaramouche and the Gnosis from Inazuma? Conventional wisdom holds that divine knowledge cannot be rationally comprehended. After conquering the divine gaze, he will make his next move. It's time to end tonight's foolish theatrics. Right now, you have no captive audience. Let every worthy sacrifice be carved in ice. With this nation, Sure for all time. Oof. In the name of Her Majesty the Tsaritsa, we will seize authority from the gods. Dude, the Teva drip is insane. Which, by the way, sorry for pausing there, it's a bit out of left field. Given the whole uh, drama that was around chess, last year with uh, allegations of cheating it made me uh, think about uh, no chess play for humanity that was the actual name when watching this as well uh, kasparov versus the deep blue it was this very exciting match that lasted like two years from uh, 96 to 97 um, between um, ibm's deep blue computer and uh, a world chess champion called gary kasparov that was his first name and they had like six matches. It's a very interesting story, at least to me. But it, the implications here, chess and of course, Teyvat, made me think of it. I spare you that story here, but if you're interested in listening to a very, very good um, chess story, check that out. Absolute peace. Such is the gift from the Tsaritsa. Such is Her Majesty's benevolence. Now you rest in this coffin, encased in layer upon layer of ice. Ah, but Rosaline, I promise you, your final resting place will be the entirety of the old world. <laughs> I must say, you're looking very young today, Doctor. You know very well that I do not take that as a compliment. So, where's the segment in the prime of his life, then? Oh. <laughs> He's busy with a little experiment in blasphemy. blasphemy. Jesus. <laughs> Colin, time to head out on patrol. Ah, uh, okay, Master Tainari. What was that? A premonition. Somebody's going to burn the world. All right, we have the Golden Midsummer. I often travel during storms, 
which means my eyes are often blinded by the rain. Kazuha. Many times, I couldn't even see what was right in front of me. Mm -hmm. One day, I finally reached the top of the mountain. I looked out with the clouds beneath my feet and only the gentle breeze murmuring in my ears. The highest mountain is a clear and enlightened heart. Oh. Here, there is no self, no hatred, no regrets, and no desires. Let's embark on a journey, for I am the breeze. We will meet again, no matter how far along the road. Life has just begun, and maybe the whole world can be my home. Kazuha <laughs> just dropped the most... <laughs> The most polite way of saying that uh, I'm I'm a child of the world without sounding pompous. No, but it's true. It's true. I like that um, sort of haiku that he brought there for when you are going through tough times and just clear vision helps quite a lot. Finding a place where you um, let go of your troubles, you know. The don't worry, be happy kind of attitude. Sometimes it's, it's good to think like that. Oh. Oh, someone let her hair down. to the future in the library. She said to herself, I shall create my dream kingdom. I'll carve hmm. mountains and oceans and erect castles and towns. Then she spoke to those who shared her dream. Please be proud of all that is unreal, for we are greater than this world. For our magnificent kingdom is a small and forbidden paradise. <laughs> Miss trying to speak to my weak friends. <laughs> and then replying with mid. God damn it. Uh, go after your dreams, man. <laughs> don't don't let people tarnish your your imagination. It was beautiful and fragile and could sing the most beautiful songs. But since mortals couldn't see it, they believed it to be a trick. Oh. How could a transparent bird possibly exist, let alone sing? When the bird heard that, it flapped its wings and flew across mountains and seas all the way to the night sky, where it turned into a star. Hmm. Its brilliance was so dazzling that it illuminated everyone. It allowed all those that could see it to follow its light through the dark night, to sail through the seas under the guidance of the stars. It was born in wisdom, but trapped in ignorance. It has oh. never voiced a complaint, for this is its destiny. Guiding people to see their destinies is the very meaning of its existence. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. Genshin Impact is out here just being extremely motivational. My god, I did not expect that. A thing that I like about watching these videos is that they mellow me out. Because <laughs> I, I don't know what it is, but like a lot of things in gaming just make me feel extra edgy after I either play or watch them. And that is not wrong at all, but like it's okay to like balance things off once in a while. So, so that, that's why I really much enjoy this. Nice. Sumeru. Ooh, we have a nice anime here. This was the uh, desert landscape, yeah? Well, it's par partially. As for the truth, that's on you to find out. Ooh! So no matter how strange or spooky things may look on the surface, maybe all they point to in the end is a small and simple secret. In the end, I'm just the moon. The real sun is 
Oh. Let me guess, she's the new Archon. And oh my. I love that they gave them uh, that aesthetic with the shackles, ears. Yeah, it, it makes them look kind of Egyptian, but of course that's not the case. It's Sumeru, which I suppose it took from Sumeria, uh, or the summer. That's that's what they are called. The the land is called, but the Sumerian Empire, which was like one of the um, oldest civilization to exist, and. <laughs> The one that is always theorized as being uh, the, the the place for the conspiracy theories of uh, how ancient aliens and ancient technology came to be and stuff like that. Um, yeah, <laughs> but judging alone from the aesthetics, that makes a lot of sense that that would be the place where they reference it. That's like Mesopotamia area, you know, where you both have desert landscape and some luscious green areas. All right, then version 3.0. The Dendro Archon is known as the God of Wisdom because her consciousness is directly connected to it. To the people of Sumeru, she's not only a symbol of wisdom, but also of power and kindness. Unfortunately, she disappeared in a great calamity a few hundred years ago. Oh my god, hold on. First, I gotta boost the resolution here and wow, this trailer is hitting a little bit different. I don't know if like that's the camera work or what they've done here. It feels different. The sages later found the newly born Dendro Archon and whisked her back to Sumeru. It's Lesser Lord Kusanelli's birthday. Nilu's dance of Subzerus is about to begin. The most important performance at the Subzerus festival. The goddess of flowers began to dance. Oh. Countless beautiful Padisars began to bloom wherever she stepped. Wow. Tiny people compared to the divine. We still have to do our best to make sure that the birthday girl feels loved on our special day. The stage is going to be even prettier when it's festival time. I can't wait for you to see it. Training Forest Ranger Kale reporting for duty. Olé. <laughs> the withering has been recorded in Sumeru for millennia. It's said that it originates from the depths of the world. I'm afraid we rangers will be battling the withering zones here for a long time. Many plants in the rainforest are already in decline. Tagnari. Oh, Tignari, I guess. One with the forest. Let's nip that in the butt. It's called an Akasha Terminal. It's a tool produced by the Academia that utilizes the legacy of Greater Lord Ruka Devata. You may use an Akasha Terminal to connect directly to the Akasha and access any knowledge you need. Okay, I thought that that... Oh man, I was just mentioning that just quickly. Ancient technology. Here we go. They did it. They freaking did it. The divine knowledge capsule should be up for a secret auction within the next few days. Okay, I mean, within the context of G Genshin, it makes sense. We've seen that a lot already, but still. Use it, and you'll gain the wisdom of the gods. I need you to find someone, a traveling merchant. What kind of products do you see, Dory. my dear customers? So oh, she's so cute! You all saw that just now? The Grand Sage ordered us to stop the performance. Maybe they see Lesser Lord Kusanelli's birth as confirmation of Greater Lord Rukadabata's death. Rukadabata. Pursuing such frivolous and meaningless activities in this land of knowledge and reason. Hmm. This device. It's extracting energy from the ley line. It looks like he used the divine knowledge capsule. The sub zeros festival. Boss? Go this so looks straight up like robotics. God. What's happening? Oh, come on, come on. Our archon 
fate of the utopia that is Snow City for all scholars who sought validity, verity, and truth, while people like you wish to defile it. It would be too risky to continue the Subzeros Festival at this point. Hmm. I don't want to get everyone in trouble. We don't have any more festivals to waste. <laughs> Are you really so ignorant? Or are you just living in complete denial? The world forget. The world forget me. Wow. That was intense. There's a lot of jazz here! Genshin, stop trying to draw me in. <laughs> I don't have the time! <laughs> okay, now we have that character teaser. Dear oh. Master, I trust this letter finds you well. Thank you for your kind offer of an academia post, but I'm afraid I must decline. It's a gentleman and a scholar. I have taken up residence in the Avidya Forest, where I work as a forest watcher. Not an illustrious position, but my proximity to the rainforest ecosystem allows me to research it in great detail. Mm-hmm. Something is ailing the forest sure of it this is one of the only few occasions where having ears uh, hair in your ears is it, it, like not disgusting i guess it's still weird and just as a doctor won't abandon their patients i will not abandon the forest you promised me status and reputation mm. yet i do not care for these Though if you are amenable, please consider sending some researchers to help investigate this strange phenomenon in the forest. Okay. Sincerely, your student, Tainari. Tainari, okay. I pro well, before we get to check, here's the, the demo for Kali. That a, oh, I thought that was a boomerang. What does she do? Makes her target high with the aid of mushrooms. A anyway, wow. You know Amber, right? Mihoyo truly realized how much people like the EP, so they went full throttles with the trailers and make them match beat for beat. All right. Now we have Tainari's uh, The sweet demo. water mushroom has a brown conical cap and a white body. Consuming it may induce delirium. Oh, He's gonna eat one. Mushroom <laughs> Sweetwater mushrooms proliferate very rapidly during the rainy season. Much like these fungi here. On second thought, perhaps these are multiplying a little too fast. Or maybe you're high.
I believe that there are mushrooms whose spores alone can induce delirium. Typically this aggressive. I wonder what's causing it. Could it be a new <laughs> genetic mutation? Or maybe it's the rain agitating them. Huh? Oh brother. Looks like I'll have to put my research on hold. Let's nip that in the butt. Okay, he's high. <laughs> so that was a hallucination. Hmm. Dude. Has a slightly bitter taste. Wow. A distinctive scent. Toxin is mild, but alters the perception of one's surroundings. He just straight up brushed it off. All went right. back to his studies. I'll add that to the next edition of A Field Guide to Rainforest Life. He would be a perfect university student. Okay, we have a dance of Sabzuros. Oh, the one we saw from uh, the 3.0 tra trailer. The wait is over, everyone. I dedicate this to our god, the dance of Sabzuros. Okay, this is not what I expected. Samba. Oh, in other words, Bosa. Bosa Nova. I'd be lying if I said I had no regrets. I would have loved to see Nilo's dance. Hmm. That was an amazing sound. Is she the one who says forget me or is it the Archon? I don't suppose that it's her since the whole thing of their, their identity is being hidden. It's weird. But <laughs> it just got me thinking. Um, when growing up, I, um, at least not I, but my parents were listening to a lot of music. Uh, one amongst which was that for a band called um, the Sawati uh, String Quartet or something something like that. But they were the South African quartet that were playing um, bossa music, and which is a genre of uh, samba that was uh, made in the 50s in Brazil. It sounds very good. And the thing is, it fits so many genres. You can have, for example, a Bosa Baroque, which obviously, given its name, it's very classic. And then you can have this type, this type here that is more commonly known, the type that you just simply dance to. It's very good. I like that. And our final trailers for today, or demo, would be that of Dory. Everything you need with service you can rely on. Want to take a nap? Stay dry. Oh my god. No problem. With enough Mora, you can afford to do anything. Even take on the academia. Yo. (laughs) 
I like her design so much. Uh oh, she's a gambling machine. So my girlfriend started asking me um, what type of clothes I plan to gift or buy to our daughter. And uh, I told her that it doesn't really matter the genre, the type, um, she'll wear whatever she likes. But if there's one that I had to choose, definitely looking like a genie, that is dope as hell. But guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. And as always, if you like it, you know what to do. Hit that like button and of course subscribe if you want to see some more come back when we check out the rest in the next video we should also have a wonderful day see you guys in the next one bye